Happy, happy new year to all of you. And I hope you guys are entering this year with so much joy, so much hope, especially in the agriculture business. And I pray that your dreams come true. All of you that have been hoping to either buy land, to buy your livestock, to start building your project, whatever that you have in plan. I hope that God blesses you and you are able to do that. As we are entering into 2023, it is so my joy because we have so much for you guys. And as I said, we are actually putting together our goals for 2023 and sharing that with you. But today we are going to be talking about five mistakes that we did as farmers in 2023, that in case you are going into it in 2023, you shouldn't repeat what we did in 2022. And that's why we are bringing you this video there is so much to unpack here and so much to reflect so if this is you're interested then stay tuned because i'll be coming with you with a lot of details about what we did and what we're going to do different this year welcome back guys and i'm so glad you guys stayed behind because today we're going to be talking about the five mistakes that we made in 2022 that we are not going to repeat it and we don't want you to repeat it whatever kind of farming you're doing whatever your plan is for 2023 you might want to watch this video so that we can all learn and do things better of course this is the reason for this channel and therefore it is important that we summarize everything in 2022 and bring it to you guys but before we go in there i just want you guys to know i know a lot of you have been asking us about our farfa Finally, we have our Fafa, the agro store, which is in Achimota. Um, call the WhatsApp number or test us on WhatsApp. You'll be able to get your alfalfa seed and your brachyria seed. It's in the dry season. Don't sell your goats, don't sell your cows because you don't have food for them. Let's start planting our own brachyria and alfalfa seed so that we can always have food year round for our livestock, just like we did here. So today we're gonna to be talking about mistake number one. And what is mistake number one? So mistake number one here at Sementia Farm is me, right? So I was the number one mistake and the mistake that I have learned in a very hard way. And the reason why that is a number one mistake is my presence at this farm. So in 2002, as you guys know, even in the beginning, I wasn't here at the farm, right? I was in the US. Godfred and the team were managing it. Um, and I was basically translating a lot of my vision and what we wanted to do to them. As you can see, I've learned from that already. I'm already here in December, going into G January, February, right here at the farm. But one of the mistakes, biggest mistake and lesson for me in 2022 was my presence at the farm, right? A lot of things happened cost-wise, distraction-wise, um, delaying project because I wasn't here. Yes, it is sometimes you have no option right because hey, you have to choose sometimes family comes first sometimes you know other things comes first but i think to me what i realized is that you know it cost me so much you can look at even the pen i did a video about this pen where you know the structure was built completely wrongly um the feet that was supposed to enter the ground in a pipe didn't and then therefore ended up choking to this side when it rained Definitely the first day I saw it, I was like, no, this is not what I said. This is gonna be a disaster, right? I remember we were also building um, a structure for our poly tank. I gave them the design, everything, but of course, without more supervision, it wasn't done well. So the next day they put the tank on, it fell, a poly tank worth about 5,000 broke, about 4,000 invested in that structure, everything is still at a stand. I can go on and on and on and on, right? Even with our livestock, certain, you know, diseases that could have been prevented, so on and so forth, all didn't work because I wasn't here. So going into 2023, I want to be here fully, right? That being said, I always say this, you know, if you can or afford to be on the field, please be there. But if you can't, then know that whatever you're doing is gonna cost you a bit more, right? You're gonna, so don't put all in, try testing it. At least, you know, something will be done, but not to your satisfaction or not the way you would have done it. But at least you've learned something, right? Or you've tested the water. So that's my advice for you guys. Let's move on to mistake number two. So let's go look for mistake number two. Let's go, let's go look for mistake number two because mistake number two is 
our meals, our bags that we imported from South Africa. Yes. So as you guys can see, what basically happened is early last year, I decided to import boa goals from South Africa into Ghana. Um, I visited South Africa, you know, visited some farm, made a good contact, decided to bring. Of course, just like most of you, these goats are very expensive. So in my mind, let me just bring a male and a female and then buy more of local females to be able to cross the males that I have. Little did I know that the size of these guys were way bigger than our local goats that we have here. Can you imagine this guy here crossing a female goat as small as this one, right? So not even a possibility. Right, and that's what happened basically to, to us. So we end up actually killing a local goat because this goat was too big for us, right? Um, and over the months, we've actually brought a lot of females. And as you guys can see, we have um, kids now with a lot of females that they are able to cross, right? So that was our mistake number two. So the third mistake that we did earlier this year was our fencing. Right, so if you guys can remember, I actually brought um, this tree that we all didn't know the English name to it, planted them and was hoping to use them for fence and use wooden. Um, the tree, some of them germinated, but the rain stopped and therefore a lot of those trees still died. So all the cost and hassle in basically preparing that fence did not work, right? So the lesson that I learned here was you know, if you're gonna do this for the long term, why don't you just invest into it, spend and do the right thing, right? So what we did was basically we have to go back and buy this fence. And as you can see in our goats now, they are able to be secured and, and, and sit in their playground without me having to worry about either, you know, um, the fence is gonna break or they're gonna escape or whatever it, it may be, right? So I think that lesson for me is, if you're really gonna do this for the long term and you've agreed that this is what you want to do, then you want to invest and do it the right way, right? So that was innovative. I was excited, I was trying. Some germinated, which is good for the um, cattle pen, but for the goat pen, we planted them later. So it didn't get enough rain, it died. All the barbed wires that I bought around it was a waste of money and then I have to finally go in and do the proper thing, right? So that was another mistake that going into, um, you know, 2023 that we are building bigger projects. I'm gonna invest into the right materials and do things the right way. So that is the mistake number three. Let's move on to mistake number four. So mistake number four, as you guys know, the biggest of it all was the fact that I didn't have enough food to feed my cows at a certain point and I had to divide them into two and take part of them to Sequa on the 100 acres to start grazing there and then feed the ones that I had here. As you guys saw later in December, I brought them back to sell. But I think no farmer needs to go through that. Before you go into farming, you need to be able to save enough food before you even bring your stock. And let me tell you, the year is not over yet, but here we go. We already are bailing and thank God, for the first time, I'm able to bail with all the machines and equipment that I need. So now I don't have to cut it and take it to the warehouse. I cut them here, I bring the tractor with the um, baler and it builds it into these round bales, right? So this year is gonna be massive. This year, we're gonna be cutting because I have all the tools. I have, you know, my mower, I have my rake, I have my baler, all working with the PTO and the tractor. So like I'm fully rolling. So there's not gonna be any room for mistakes and I'm, I'm, I'm very excited about this year. So I'm gonna save as much to be able to bring in as many goats as I can have. So let's move on, go back to the um, goat pen and give you the last one, which is the mistake number five. So the last mistake that we did in 2022 was when we built this pen that we have. So we built the feeder, which again, I used um, mesh like this, built um, sort of a path with a board and then put the mesh around it, put food inside and they grew up. It was great, but it didn't last. Their tongue, saliva, water, 
everything from feed and so on, rusted it and it broke. So I had to again redo it again with wood, right? Well, that was another cost for me. As we are entering into 2023, you guys know that I have a big project coming for the gold pen. Now I have learned from that going into 2023, I know exactly how I want to build, you know, my feed lot, however you want to call it, um, inside the pen for them to eat from it, right? I now have an idea of what I want to do and I can't wait to share that with you as I start building uh, my new goat pen in 2023. So this is the feed mistake and I hope you guys have really learned something from it. All these things cost me money um, and that's why mostly when I tell people People that this site the five acres land that we have the cows we have everything it's an experiment field because I'm just repeating and making mistakes and learning from them and I hope that you guys that are watching are also learning something thank you guys so much um, for watching this video and this year is gonna be great we're gonna release another video uh, maybe in two days time about our goals going into 2023 and you don't want to miss it because agriculture this is our time Youth, this is the time to go into farming. Ministers, governments, this is the time to support us. With everything happening around the world, this is the time to look inside what we have. Land, cheap labor, resources, good weather, and make use of agriculture. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.